So, hello everyone. Thanks for uh, the invitation to speak at this brilliant conference. It's really a pleasure to be here. My name is uh, Sebastian Post, uh, and you can follow me um, at S Post on uh, Twitter. Uh, I would like to add some additional uh, uh, information on my person. So I. Uh, um, I'm a publisher, uh, publishing consultant, and um, an entrepreneur in uh, publishing, especially in ebook publishing, since uh, 2005. So I have uh, founded uh, the first company in Germany to distribute ebook content to retailers in 2007. So I, ha I have been involved in um, uh, ebook uh, production, ebook conversion, and distribution. Uh, of ebooks as well as uh, marketing and now uh, data analysis. Uh, by the way, uh, this is my blog, Publishing Hurts, uh, so I occasionally also write on topics related to ebook publishing. Uh, in April this year, I founded a company that is called Publishing uh, Data Networks uh, together with Buch Report which um, is one of the three magazines for the publishing industry in Germany and a 100% subsidiary of uh, Der Spiegel magazine, which you obviously uh, know. And Buch Report has been dealing with uh, market research for books for um, a long time and is also uh, creating the Spiegel bestseller list. Uh, six weeks ago we launched our first product which is called uh, Monitor and it's a tool for publishers, um, authors as well as retailers to analyze ebook sales trends, marketing data and context information and I would like uh, to provide some additional information on the following charts about um, uh, this product and our business. Um, our company goal is to create an infrastructure for the mutual exchange of data between the publishers on the one hand and uh, the retailers as well as libraries um, on the other hand. So to optimize data-driven retail marketing and distribution of digital content. So we post ourselves two questions. One is what data is actually relevant for publishers um, when it's about ebook distribution. So what can help, what data can help publishers to learn about uh, marketing and distribution of digital content? And on the other hand, what publishing data is relevant for retailers um, and libraries in order to sell more books buy the right content, purchase, license the right content uh, uh, that the readers actually would like to have presented and actually like to read. And I will give some examples uh, on what data um, there is out there for publishers to, to learn and to, to uh, know about distribution and success of their campaigns. So, of course, Publishers receive monthly sales reports from the retailers. They are the basis for accounting and uh, for the royalty settlement. But you have to take into account that uh, it's a monthly information that you receive at the beginning of the following month. So in between, uh, publishers until now had no information about sales. Um, uh, so more and more retailers now start offering uh, daily sales information, sales trends, or even real-time sales information back to the publishers, so which uh, can be used to indicate sales and uh, ha to have more current information on the actual um, uh, on your sales as a, as a publisher. But there are data, or there are more data that are not only related to sales so sales transaction that can indicate um, uh, uh, the level of engagement of readers with, with e-book uh, content. And uh, so it's very interesting, for instance, for publishers to have a look at reviews, 
that are um, written on websites or uh, professional or non-professional blogs. Uh, I don't know the situation in Sweden, but in Germany there are loads of uh, blog, uh, uh, blogs and websites uh, of ordinary readers that are writing about the books they love and the, uh, they like to read. And it's, uh, we, we would like to inform publishers and try to establish a relation with these readers talking, writing about uh, the books. Um, we have detailed user feedback in customer reviews, and you have these reviews in most of the ebook stores um, out there. So you have these reviews uh, and five star ratings uh, on review sites, just like Goodreads or Lovely Books in Germany, where there are thousands of users writing uh, about their, their read reading, reads. Um, and uh, reviewing it, or um, social reading platforms where you not only have comments or uh, uh, five-star ratings, but also um, uh, reviews, longer passages, uh, how the, uh, the book was um, experienced. So. Library aggregators, digital, in the, uh, and you mentioned it, um, are able actually to uh, report back data to the publishers on library landings and subscription services or so these social reading platforms um, can present numbers of uh, reads back to the publishers. So this kind of data is available out there. Uh, you have uh, every time you open your app on, on your, uh, on your e reading device, uh, there is a tracking of your reading habits. So all these data outside um, uh, that is available in principle for the publishers. We have ebook charts, we have top 100 lists, and they are extreme, uh, provide extremely interesting information back to publishers uh, uh, to uh, think about pricing, to think about uh, genres, uh, etc. So there's a lot of information out there. And uh, of course, uh, the buzz uh, created on Facebook or Twitter that can um, tell publishers um, uh, and authors as well, um, uh, provide information on the, on the traction of their marketing campaigns and their ambition to cum communicate uh, the titles out there. So, a lot of data. I, 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 I don't want to mention all of it, so you have e-commerce uh, uh, data from e-commerce uh, uh, related uh, uh, aspects like, like upselling rates from, from reading samples. You have uh, page impressions, number of followers of authors and publishers, etc. And not, not the least, data that you receive when you have marketing uh, campaigns or do marketing campaigns uh, on, on Google or via Facebook. So there's actually a lot of data out there and it's our goal not only to uh, randomly present all the data that is available out there but to uh, somehow co coherently try to answer specific and relevant questions uh, to publishers and thus make little data out of um, big data. But m moreover and uh, furthermore, we would like to take the sales data and the context information and generate something that uh, we would like to call the trade impact factor, which is uh, a measure for trending titles and the social impact. So um, the, tra uh, the trade impact factor uh, will be able to uh, tell publishers and authors which titles are trending, where on which platforms titles are being discussed, and maybe even how they are being discussed. Um, so, and it, of course, it's very relevant information uh, that can provide uh, valuable insights for publishers um, in terms of uh, marketing their ebooks and uh, digital content in a in this in a different way than they used to market print books and maybe uh, provide insights in uh, when it comes to the right pricing um, of the titles so the but it's not only that we will be providing data from the shops and the libraries Mm, like sales trends and additional data back to the publishers. It's our idea, uh, uh, our idea that we uh, that publishers will provide 
data, trade impact data, back to the shops and the libraries. So we try to create an infrastructure for a better communication of um, uh, between the publishers on the one hand and um, the libraries, uh, the retailers on, on the other. Because uh, yeah, I'm convinced that the exchange of information on distribution, on marketing, on campaigns, uh, on budgets uh, for marketing, uh, on trending titles, um, is very important to accurately adjust uh, what I would call 360 uh, degrees marketing campaigns, that you have all the aspects of marketing really focused uh, to the point. And if we ask ourselves, what are the digital book piles? we might come up with an answer that they are the um, landing pages, the starting pages of the, of the stores, that they are the lists, the recommend, uh, recommendation lists, the genre lists, that they are uh, the mentions in the newsletters or uh, the promotions. Um, so uh, that the retailers uh, are uh, necessary or it's necessary, it's good, it's helpful for the retailers to have all this information to improve the sales and maybe for libraries uh, the trade impact factor or the, this additional uh, data can help to put the right books uh, on the shelves as well, to license the content that, are, uh, that readers like to read at this moment and that are being discussed at this moment. So as we're speaking about libraries, uh, I would like to uh, introduce you to uh, um, in, in two slides or three slides to the to the German library market just to uh, for you to to know about uh, the market over there. So we have for public libraries two library aggregators. One is called um, uh, DVBIP, uh, and they're uh, selling the the online. It's called uh, um, to the libraries, and the other uh, uh, company is called uh, Siando. Uh, to give you some numbers, so the DVBIP uh, online system is uh, used by more than 1,100 uh, libraries with more than 120,000 ebooks um, from more than 800 publishers. And it's estimated, and it's their number, so I, I don't know um, uh, whether it's true, but it's estimated for 2013 that they have between six and seven uh, million digital landings. Um, in 2013. And uh, the library um, purchased a one reader at a time license. So this m for a fixed retail price currently at the moment. So um, one reader can borrow a book for two weeks and if uh, there's someone else interested in a book uh, uh, he has to wait or she has to wait uh, until the t uh, two weeks have inspired. So if the a library wants to sell content uh, more than uh, to to more than one person. It's um, it's necessary to purchase an, uh, another or more licenses. So this is a model which results in very long waiting lists. You can imagine that that uh, uh, if you want to read a book uh, that is published now and that is being dis discussed now, you don't want to wait for eight weeks or, or ten weeks or even longer uh, to, to have it. So this is a situation there, uh, but it's a market leader for the, the providing content uh, to public libraries. And since uh, two years' time, we have a subscription service uh, called Scooby. It's a joint venture of, the two, of two major publishing groups, uh, Random House and Holzbrink Macmillan. They have about 20,000 uh, titles, or maybe e uh, even more right now. Uh, and uh, it starts, the pricing starts uh, from 10 euros um, a month to have access to this, uh, to this library. Uh, for academic titles, uh, there's a company called Paper C, and they have more um, uh, academic uh, content that they offer mainly to students. But, of course, we have a third, um, third offering in the German market, and that is the pirate site. And uh, the pirate site uh, of 
has very is very uh, so so to say very influential in in the German market, and is that successful so to say that they started in order to cope with all the traffic and uh, to deal with all the costs involved in all these uh, uh, downloads, they um, began offering a subscription service. Of course, completely I illegal. But uh, they said, okay, we just can't deal with all the, all the number of downloads. And you can see a, a little number. Uh, so for July, so last month, uh, they had 1.4 million downloads of ebooks. And if you compare the official numbers for 2012, I mean last year, uh, it's about 1 million do of legal downloads, paid content downloads per month. So you can see what, uh, how big this platform, uh, um, this platform is. And they, what they announce or what they say is, okay, we're just trying to find out what the reader wants. And it's DRM free download without any hassle, uh, broad assortment, so possibly all titles available on the market and a reasonable price, which, is, which they offer uh, um, via some obscure payment method, I can't recall, uh, between three and five euros per month. And I mean, this is, uh, of course, uh, uh, completely without the uh, consent of the, the, <laughs> the publishers. But it's, and to, to come to my last slide, um, uh, and to, to make the point, um, if you are dealing with uh, innovation, uh, especially with new business models, and uh, it is very important that you try to find uh, legal business models with new ways of licensing uh, content, and for this you have to have a very close look on the data that is uh, available, because it can tell you what uh, the use, uh, users like, what the users dislike, what they, uh, mm, uh, what models they prefer, uh, what pricing they prefer, pr uh, they prefer, and so this is, um, yeah, um, the end. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so.